Greetings, fellow physics students, but most importantly, greetings to you, Mr. Munger. Tis I, your favorite A-plus student, Alec Latham. Today I'm going to blind you all with science. I am going to be making a homopolar motor for your enjoyment and awe. A homopolar motor is basically a very simple motor with which a wire will spin without any physical interference. The term homopolar refers to the absence of polarity change. Now, you may be asking yourself, how does one make such a diabolical device? Well, all you need is a battery. I'm uh, using AA, Kirkland Signature, my favorite brand of battery. A magnet. And finally, a wire. Copper wire is the best. Now that you have all of your materials, the first thing you need to do is attach the magnet to one end of your battery. I am attaching it to the negative end of the battery. Next, form your wire into this shape so that it can be placed around the battery and around the magnet. And now, Please observe the magic. It's spinning all by itself. Amazing, isn't it? You may be asking yourself, Mr. Latham, how did you do that? No, I don't have any magical powers. I'm not a wizard or anything. It is simply a result of the Lorentz force. You see, a homopolar motor has a magnetic field along the axis of rotation and an electric current that at some point is not parallel to the magnetic field. Therefore, a force occurs that is perpendicular to both the current and the magnetic field, and the wire rotates. But Alec, you may be asking yourself, how do you tell which direction it will spin? We can determine this by using the right hand rule. With the right hand rule, with your right hand, your thumb represents current, the direction of current. So in this case, it's moving either way, this way. Your pointer finger represents mag the direction of the magnetic field. And in this, the magnetic field is going, like, going around, north to south. And your middle finger represents the direction of force. So with this, we have our current moving this way around. Our magnetic field is going this way, so that would look like this. Therefore, our force would be this way, so it would be clockwise. So the wire should rotate clockwise, and let's observe if that is the truth. Sometimes you need to give it a push. This one may be out of juice. Let's try another one. Luckily, I have a spare battery. And we can see that this is the truth. It is moving clockwise. Yeah, all these batteries are like out of juice. Nope, nope, it's going. So yes, it is moving clockwise, and that's it. This concludes my physics exam presentation. Good night, and God bless, folks.